All right. So this is a Patreon exclusive footage. Um, I'm gonna be going over some of the latest things that I bought. I'm very excited. Um, as you know, right now I'm filming with a used EOS T4i, and, uh, and the lens that it came with had some uh, issues for video filming, <laughs> for video filming, for filming, where the uh, autofocus was a little bit rough and it wasn't as smooth. Um, also, the uh, focal, or is a, not the focal, not the aperture. I'm not a camera guy, <laughs> as you know. But uh, the lens that it came with is a really nice one, but it's mainly for photography. And so, which wasn't uh, ideal for what I wanted to do with the camera that I got. And uh, recently I bought a cheap, like a $45 lens. That's what I'm using right now to uh, film myself. But uh, that also has some issues with the autofocus. And so I decided to buy a new lens. Now, this lens was recommended and is in the descriptions of Casey Neistat. He's a vlogger, a very famous vlogger. And uh, I wanted to get also get something that was a little more wide angle so I could get a lot closer shots without having to have the camera way out and zoomed in. So. I decided to buy it. It was only about 250 bucks, and uh, hopefully it works out really well. And uh, this video I wanted to share with you guys, the unveiling. So, here it is. Got my iPhone set up as well. Let me adjust that. Yeah, that's good. Right there. All right, let's open this baby up. And yeah, so I mainly use, currently, well before I used to just use my iPhone 8. Um, and now that I got a DSLR, I use that as well as the iPhone to get different angles. But now, I'll have a camera for up close stuff, which that lens doesn't do very well. So. I got the Canon uh, 10 to 18 millimeter with autofocus and uh, stabilizing, a stabilizer. And it also came with a little wipe cloth. So, ooh, this is brand new and looks pretty shiny. Let's give it a try on the, new, on the camera and uh, see how it records. All right, so now I'm just using the iPhone and uh, I'm gonna swap this thing out. I'm gonna turn it off first. So this was the current lens that was on there. So 18 to 55 and it's decent for the majority of shots uh, from a distance, but up close, the focusing gets a little difficult. So let's give this one a shot, shall we? Okay, so this is my camera setup right now. Uh, it's an EOS T4i, um, and then I got a shotgun mic that is a Star. Um, I also bought this used. It uh, came with the studio lights and the, uh, the shoulder uh, strap, not strap, shoulder mount for, for this thing. And this camera also came with a double battery uh, extension pack. But yeah, let's turn it on. Auto focus, yep. Yeah. There you go. Looks pretty good. You'll see all my messes here. But it's a lot quieter. Looks pretty good. Let's do it 
close-up shot of my face. Hey! What is happening? Oh, it goes even wider. Let's see how close we can get it. Oh! <laughs> this looks good. A slight wide angle. You can see my studio lights right there. And then, uh, you see my iPhone right there. With the other one. Cool. Nice, this looks really good. You now my eyes are kind of jutting this way since I'm looking at the LCD screen, but uh, it looks like it'll do very well. Okay, I think we're set. I think this, this lens could be a long-term lens. And uh, we'll just switch between this one and the other one right there. And it should be good. Thanks for watching. <laughs>